The field of developmental psychology is one area in the broader field of psychology and we examine change over time. In the early years, two, three, four, children are considered, um, well they have been considered egocentric. Around four to five, a really interesting shift happens and children become better able to understand the perspective of other people. And so what I'm trying to understand is, how does that happen? In class today, we've got mothers and young children coming into the space, and my students are gonna observe their behavior. Part of what I want my students to see today is that you have to have a very keen eye when you're observing because you can just observe in a very laissez-faire way and not really get a sense of how hard the child is working. Let's say you wanted to observe sharing behavior. Well, we're going to be looking for times when um, the child hands a toy to another child. That's something very objective that you can see. We've been learning about things like um, language, of course, how language develops. We've also been looking at joint attention, being able to understand what someone else is looking at. It sounds not that important or exciting, but it's really critical to break into the social world because you need to know what is, what is it that other people in my world attend to. And I want to attend to that too so I can understand what they're talking about or what they're interested in. The knowledge of developmental psychology that someone might have, um, I think has a huge impact on society because so many people are either parents or teachers or interact with children in some way. I tell my students that, you know, a lot of people in the world, in the culture and society have ideas about child development, but the thing that makes developmental psychology different is that we've actually conducted the studies. We talk about the researchers who conduct these studies as they're just people just like us who had an idea. My students can do the same thing and so I want them to really feel comfortable with the methodologies um, in developmental psychology. I'm constantly thinking about how to improve my classes and how to get the students excited so they they want to contribute to the class, so they want to do some of the things I'm talking about, going online and on their own and just finding something new. That's, to me, a successful class, is if the student is so excited um, about a topic that they go out on their own and try and find more information about it. And so I think, okay, I've got some students doing that. How do I get more doing that?